Students in Professor Fredo Rivera's class, Introduction to Art History, were invited to create a video in response to an artwork featured in Grinnell College Museum of Arts exhibition, Let Yourself Continue. Curated by Associate Director Daniel Strong, this exhibition includes more than 50 women artists from the museum's collection and was organized to commemorate the centennial of the 19th Amendment. In this video, we'll hear from Sophia and Vanessa speaking about The Unicorn by Marcia Cure. Hello everyone, this is Sophia Carr, a third year at Grinnell College. And I'm Vanessa Jennings, a second year. Right now, we're looking at The Unicorn, a piece from Marcia Cure's Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the series, that portrays emotions of passion and rage. It is made with kola nut pigment, watercolor, and pencil on watercolor paper, and stands roughly at 24 by 28 inches. Kier is a Nigerian artist who was trained at the University of Nigeria. On first glance, this is a very emotive piece, as if the figure at the center is exploding with passion and emotion. It's not a remarkably large piece, but it is so dynamic that it really does capture the viewer's attention. When confronted with this piece, our eyes are first drawn to the dark figure that seems to be carrying a unicorn head. The dark concentration of orange and green color in Invasion of the Body Snatchers gives the surface of the figure an uneasy texture that almost looks like magma in the way that it seems to burn from the inside of the figure. Similar orange colors in the background show that whatever is being held in by the hunched figure is spilling into its surroundings. Looking at other pieces in this series, specifically this one entitled Amen, 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 we can see the similarities in color and technique. Both paintings consist of dark central figures folded inward on themselves, accented with red and orange. The red and orange dripping down from the top of the canvas in Amen, Amen, Amen gives us a similar sense of violence that we get from the unicorn, but there's also a feeling of gloominess that is unique to this piece. While the unicorn lacks specificity of context, the title does give us some insight to a fairy tale like narrative of something being stolen. You can tell this isn't a peaceful movement between the figure and the unicorn because of the violent spatters of watercolor, the discordant colors, and the weight of the figure as it is pushed down by the burden of a lifeless unicorn head. The overall dissymmetry of the figure gives the piece an element of movement that, combined with the red splatters in the background, seems pained. The press release at the Susan Inglet Gallery in 2015 says that Kira's collage series, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, discusses discord head-on, and you can really see this disharmonious narrative in the visual elements of the piece. The gallery also disclosed that for Cure, the powerlessness she feels regarding issues of political and social injustice are mitigated through the work, a visible struggle between beauty and chaos, the mind and the body. Therefore, although we don't know if this painting was inspired by one particular injustice, we can interpret the violence and Cure's invasion of the body snatchers as a visual representation of mental, physical, and emotional turmoil. In 1956, a movie came out that is also named Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's a science fiction film that follows a group of humans as they and the rest of the world try to stop aliens from making clones of their bodies and taking over. We don't know if Cure's painting was inspired by this film, but it's interesting that both works involve some degree of characters trying to suppress their emotions, only for those emotions to emerge rather passionately. 